lots of, uh, you'll, you'll see, this, this one is not getting argued as much anymore. It used to be that you'd, see, you'd say, well, you know, the temperature records are all influenced by urban heat island effect. Well, then just look over the ocean. There's no urban heat island effect in the ocean. Or you get rid of the urban heat island effect. Satellite records have their own issues for various things. Uh, this is not disputed, though. So global temperatures have warmed by about a degree Celsius in the last few years. <laughs> Two, carbon dioxide concentration is increasing due to human activity. And the bottom of these, we'll get a, I'll get a PDF of, of this and uh, send it out to everyone, because there's links at the bottom of these that are really useful. Um, if you want, you can plot global temperature uh, records for any month, any period of time um, at, this, at, the, at this NOAA website. So that's a nice, that's a nice resource. Two, carbon dioxide concentration is increasing in our atmosphere, and we know that it's due to human activity. Okay, so, uh, well, I guess I wrote it here. Uh, I was gonna say, anyone know how we know it's due to human activity? It's, <laughs> no, it's your opportunity to really shine. <laughs> carbon isotope rift. Rift. Uh, One of the few things that we've known about climate change for about 30 years is that the carbon dioxide, that this, this long-term trend that we're seeing here, that long-term trend is due to human activities, due to fossil fuel uh, combustion. And one of the sources of information we have is uh, carbon-13 isotopes. So <coughs> I'm not a I'm not a forest guy, I'm not a plant person. I was telling someone earlier, uh, my interest is in how two fluids on a rotating sphere interact. <laughs> and I could really put you to sleep on, on a talk uh, of that. But um, so carbon-14 has a very short half-life. So it has about 5,000 years. So uh, plants that died millions of years ago and formed fossil fuels have essentially no more carbon-14 left in them. So if we look at the amount of carbon-14 in the atmosphere relative to the amount of carbon-12, that ratio is decreasing, meaning the carbon that we're putting into the atmosphere is carbon-12, not 14. We can also look at carbon-13 records. And this is my attempt at biology. Carbon-13 tastes bad to plants. So they prefer to they prefer to take in carbon twelve instead. That's as far as I know about why they prefer carbon twelve versus carbon thirteen. So the same thing, carbon thirteen in our atmosphere, uh, that ratio to carbon twelve is decreasing. Both of those are evidence that this is coming from fossil fuels that were once plants, and it's not coming from say volcanoes or uh, biomass burning. Or anything like that. So that's something we've known for a long time. The other thing I gotta say is this is Charles Keeling here, and this is uh, he's, when, when he started taking this these, this data, he had about three years uh, worth of uh, records here, and these annual variations that we see is the breathing of the biosphere during uh, during winter time as all this plant uh, matter is decaying, it's releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, and so carbon dioxide levels increase, and then during in this northern hemisphere it's from Mauna Loa. So then uh, <clears throat> during the spring and summer, as plants start growing and taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere decreases. And so this annual variation that we see is the breathing of the biosphere. And after three years, you had this really cool result that you could, you could track this, this, uh, this annual cycle. Uh, and then at some point, funding ran out for this, but he was encouraged to continue taking those measurements. And in doing so, going back and continuing to take those measurements, we now have the most important time series of any times of, of any piece of data that we have uh, related to climate change, the long-term variation of carbon dioxide, continuously measured at model. <coughs> so that's a great story of perseverance. <laughs> Last thing that I always say we know about climate change is that our planet is warmer because of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases than it would be in the absence of those. Gases. So we're about 18 degrees Celsius warmer 